second. Bally Magvig just could not get past the puppy on the inside. Breathtaking, marvellous scenes. Ian Sutherland there gives Siders Jack a worthy kiss. I'm still shaking. I can't believe what I've seen and witnessed. Yet another Greyhound derby for Mr Charlie Lister. It is unbelievable. Some picture Rapid Ranger, twice, of course, in 2000 and 2001. Farlow Verdict doing the business for him, perhaps by default in 2003. And, of course, some marvellous scenes with Bandicoot Topoki and Taylor Sky. How close he's come in the past. Last year, fourth, Taylor Sky, the blonde snapper. Second with Fear Zephonic, which brings me on to Simon Wooder. The dream has landed for Simon. Congratulations, Charlie. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. A greyhound who'd only had one previous race before coming into the derby, winning at Galway in 28-88, takes the best greyhound race on the planet by storm, by guts, by any stretch of the imagination. He would not let Bally McVick past. Let's review the action one more time. Tub thumping. Great race. Bally McVick out fast. Droopy's Jet out fast. Out fast. Siders Jack. So they go into the bend. Screen critic poised for any bumping. Droopy's Jet squeezed out. Screen critic took a bump. Bally McVick almost in front. Siders Jack says, No, not that easy. Not that easy. I'm young. I'm game. I've got the world at my feet. And Siders Jack with a half length lead. Here comes Vic again to try and get past Jack. Screen critic close up, five. Bittles Bar trying to play a role. Towards the rear, Droopy's Jet shuffled around at the back. Now early impact starts to make a move. Siders Jack just thwarting every challenge that Bally McVick could throw. And Siders Jack, a magnificent seven for Charlie Lister. It is unbelievable what he has done for the Greyhound Derby. We haven't had confirmation of the second yet. I believe early impact got up to nab second place. Indeed, it has been confirmed with Bally McVick in third. I've got to spread the love. What a, what a tremendous race, Tony. Jonathan, 28-37. Can you believe Siders Jack? What a run. 28.37, Silas Jack's fastest time in the competition, and it's come on the big night. We said before, Charlie Lister, the Derby King, he could get them out of the boxes on the final. He's done it again. He's won it seven times now, twice with Rapid Ranger, Bandicoot Topoki, Taylor Sky, Farlow Verdict, uh, some picture as well. Seven Derby crowns for that man, Charlie Lister OBE. Extraordinary. A magnificent seventh for King Charlie. He is the Derby King, and Silas Jack has won the William Hill Derby. It was a tremendous performance and it worked out as we thought it would because they went line abreast into the first bend. There's Simon Woodard. You know, he went so close with Fierce Afonic to be picked up by ultimately his great friend Darren Johnson's kind of ready, but they've come up trumps. As the draw came out, you just always felt that maybe he was going to be an obstacle to the Irish Dogs because he's an improving greyhound. He handled the three runs in eight days. He is quite simply, I think, the least, ex least experienced and youngest greyhound who's probably ever won the derby. An extraordinary effort from yep. side as Jack and, and roll on next year because he'll try to do what Taylor Sky almost did by reaching the final mm. 12 months after winning the derby. Um, the Irish have been vanquished in many ways and they would have known they were up against it when King Charlie was still in there. Their weight has to go on for a little bit longer, but they'll get themselves together. Liam Dowling, Fraser Black, they've had a tremendous derby campaign. We want to see them back next year yep. for more of the same, please. Yeah, Silas Jack wins the 2013 William Hill Greyhound Derby. Early Impact ran his heart out in second. He's carried out on his shield and Bally Vic was third. Errol with the full result. The full result here, Wimbledon, the 908s, the 2013 William Hill Greyhound Derby final. 150,000 smackers going to Siders Jack at 6 to 1. Second, trap 4, Early Impact at 14 to 1. And third, trap 3, Bally Mac Vic. The forecast, 90 pounds, 96 pence. The tricast, 225 pounds and 4 pence. The winning uh, distance was a length and a quarter. My legs have turned to jelly. It's been fantastic. 
I believe I'm supposed to lead to Daryl, who's in the ruck somewhere. Daryl, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Let's have a word with Charlie over here. Goodness me, and Pat as well. Oh, wow. You've done it again. And not bad for a pup. Not bad for a pup. I mean, not bad for an old neither. <laughs> Charlie, you just you're just making a habit of this. Seven, yeah, well, seven. I had to try and win it because they, they ripped him off a bit. They were just talking about the two dogs in the race, one of the Irish dogs, you know. So really, we had to try and win with him tonight. Just let let him know that we all are here. Bally McVick's come after him, and he's he's just repelled the challenge, hasn't he? It is same. It is tamest ta Taylor Sky. Absolutely incredible. Well, what can, what can we say, Pat? I mean, he's, he's phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it was Isn't a, it just? I'm going to just squeeze in here if I can, because we need to have a word with Simon, and we need to have a word with Darren as well. Simon, your smile is the biggest of the lot. Oh, I wanted that so much. That's oh, no. my mum. I so wanted that. I got beat by Darren. Uh, we were absolutely gutted. You don't know what it's like to get beat. I never thought I could come back. I got with Darren. We got a few dogs and we built that. And Charlie told us nearly five months ago, he said, Simon, Darren, I've got a Derby dog here. And I started believing him. He's improved, improved. This man is the best in the world. No doubt about that. He's absolutely incredible, isn't he? Because to <laughs> listen to the applause. To bring a dog to the derby with one career race under his belt. No, unbelievable. And improve him every round. He's done everything right. The dog has done it, everyone. You know, thanks to the Wimbledon manager, because he did say this dog wasn't good enough, and Charlie phoned me the other day. And, uh, yeah, so he improved him three lengths. So thank you, the Wimbledon manager. Never say that about any dog Charlie's involved in. Darren, you've been there before. We know you have. Is it better second time round? Listen, this is, this is equal. It's, it's, it's fantastic and brilliant in its own right. I'm just chuffed for this fella here, because this, this, this man is a touch of class. And we've had the best year of our lives in grey and ownership. Uh, and it's just great to see Simon... The, the noise, the noise is crazy. But, but this partnership, absolutely fantastic. We, we, we handed over the trophy for Fira Mosky to you both early. We've seen Gargar this yeah, evening. Yeah. It, it's like it's like an amazing match. It's the first year. Look, you know, it, it's just it's something that happened. Ask it, what our wives think. Emma, Lee, what do you think winning the derby? Yes, indeed, dead right. Marvelous. And we've got a new puppy, myself and Lee. Lee, come on. We've actually got a puppy out of Fierce Sonic and kind of Ready Sister, which the lads actually promised me and Emma. This is this is for the girls, is yeah, it? Yeah, this is for they, the wives. This is actually. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know yet, but um... no, they actually agreed it at the Greyhound Awards this year. So thanks, guys. Thank We're you. really looking forward to our racing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. And and, and Darren, your, your comments on, on Charlie. I mean, he's done it again. Seven seven Derby wins. It would never be matched. This. No, the, man, the man's a legend. He knows how to do a dog better than any man living he's uh look you know the, the, the dog had one race going into what you know was being touted as uh, probably the best derby for for decades and uh this dog's had one race prior to the derby it's hard to fathom you know this is next year's dog not this year's dog this is next year's dog you know do for the moment do for the moment Let, let's have a very quick word with uh, with ian because ian goes around the country of course with charlie's dogs Hey, and you've, you've stood here so many times in the past, it's almost becoming a habit for you as well. Yeah, it's amazing. He's a brilliant little dog, this. I knew six months ago he was a derby dog, this dog. You know, when he run at Nottingham in a trial, 1750 as a pup, you know, he's, he's unbelievable. Unbelievable. But when, when you look at the whole scenario, I mean, anything is believable with a dog that Charlie trains, but it's just, um, well, it is almost unbelievable to get a dog to win the derby with, with just that one run before the competition. Yeah, we, I mean, as you say, we always knew he was going to be a good dog. And uh, as I say, he's, he's just improved and improved and improved. And, and he's done it on the night tonight, and we're over the moon with him. We're so, we're so delighted. Let's, let's Charlie have the final word, I think, here. Charlie, we're taking this all in. We're just appreciating your, your, your talent and your skills. I mean... You must, do you not sometimes just think, how, how do I keep doing this? How, how do I keep getting these derby winners? Well, I don't, I, maybe you get a bit of luck sometimes, but it ain't all luck. We put a lot of effort into what we do, you know what I mean? And um, I, get, I work seven days a week still, so, you know, you, you only get out of things what you put into them, really. So, and he, he, I always told the lads when we first trialled him, I thought it was a derby dog, I told Simon. And, um, to come in a young dog like that and to beat the best dogs in Ireland and England, well, what more can you say, you know?
and well, Scotland. I think the dog, the, the dog has told us, and, and, and your skills have told us again. And uh, do, do they get better and better the more you win? Oh yeah, they get better the more you win. Yeah. Oh, we'll come back next year. And so you, you fancy the 200,000 next year? Oh, yeah, we fancy that one, yeah. <laughs> and he's 20, but, 25 to 1 to repeat yeah, but, I for mean, next year? William Hill's like, they put a marvellous job, ain't they? You know, putting all this sort of money up and especially putting another 10 grand in for the non-runners and everything. Well, brilliant, brilliant. All right, you had the last word. Well done, Charlie. Yet another Derby winner with Sidos, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, magnificent seven for Charlie Lister, an extraordinary achievement. Seven Greyhound Derby winners, and Sidus Jack adds his name to the Roll of Honour. So lightly raced, one run in Ireland, and the different name hit the road start. Exactly. He's come over here, straight into the Derby, finished third, I think, in the first round, didn't he, behind Jolly Bullseye. Um, of course, he got 